starts moving our lock. Cantilever's back. Well, good morning. I'm back out in the shop again today for a little while. Uh, working on this four-wheeler lift. So uh, it's been a little while since I've had a chance to work on this. I built a little bit of a lock system here. I got to put a spring and a release on it so that you can run it up, flip it, and then when it comes down to the floor it, it resets so it'll run back in these teeth again. So that's kind of what I've got going. I got to get this up or back here so I can get a spring hooked to it and then it'll, it'll cantilever over uh, with a handle and then when the handle hits the floor it'll push it back and reset it so that you don't have to think about it every time you go to lift it it's going to automatically lock and then you have to manually unlock it to let the lift down so we're going to work on that a little bit today uh, see how far I get there and then uh, maybe start on the ramps on the back I'm getting down to where I don't have that much to do uh, on this underneath here so once the springs in the ramps are built I can flip it over and uh, get it on its wheels and then we can test it so I need to put countersink the screws into the airbag on the top side and uh, then I can run a lawn mower up on it and air it up and see what it does and then I got to build a tower um, I'm gonna build a tower that stands on the floor about ish tall with a base and it's gonna have an air valve so you can run the lift standing you don't have to bend down to hook onto this with your air hose. It'll be hooked to a tower that sits separate of the lift and you can hook your air hose to the tower off your compressor and run a valve so you would just leave this on. Run a valve off the tower to go up and down so there'd be a, a air release and an air uh, to it. So you can open the valve, air it up, and then release a valve to air it down and then if you want to unhook from this once it's all the way up you just shut this off pull the hose off and it stays aired up that keeps the air in the bag and then you could just move that stuff away so you're not tripping over that hose walking around it so anyway um, we'll get going on this and kind of see what we come up with got my spring mocked up here I just locked it on with some vice grips kind of little bit of stretch there not much it's going to stretch farther as this goes uh, might have to put it down farther we'll see kind of see what it does here Clear it up that didn't work very good did it put that back on real quick yeah it's going to have to have Way more flex than that. I'm gonna have to go clear back here somewhere. As it comes down and pull it. Actually, come off of this with something. Let's try that. A little piece of flat bar. So I got my spring mocked up again here. We'll see how this works. We'll air it up. Pop them back in. Show you here what I got going. Uh, this is the lock handle for the safety locks. So it's angled up here, hooks onto the tooth that goes into these grooves. 
So as it comes up, you can see that it locks. It goes through each one. So when you want to unlock it, you would just flip it up so it cantilevers up like that. Let the air out. It takes a second. The air comes out pretty slow, which is kind of what I wanted. Get, get a bunch of weight on there, it'll, it'll come out faster. But you don't want it to come down super fast. Slow and easy, safer. So as this comes down, a little piece under here is going to get this wet and it'll flip this lock forward. So as that comes down, which is super slow and boring, but that way this lock will reset and uh, so you don't have to reset it manually every time you want to go to lift the table. It'll be already set. It'll go right into those safety locks when you go up. So the only time you'll have to touch it is when you want to drop the table. You flip it up or down in this case if the table was sitting right. And then as it comes back, that hits the wedge. Starts moving our lock, cantilevers back, and then it comes back into the resting position. So you don't have to touch it again until you want to let the table back down next time. It's already set. It's already set to go back in those teeth to be the safeties. So, yeah, that way it's automatic on the way back down. You just flip it and it kicks itself back into the safety position. The only time you'd have to touch it on the way back down is if you wanted to go from the high notch to the middle notch or the lower notch and stop. You could flip it back and go into one of those. But, uh, Probably normally that's not going to be the case. I bet 99% of the time you're going to want to go all the way down. So that's that. That handle will sit out front just a little bit forward. But it makes it not hard to reach when it's under the table. All right, table's all the way down. That's it. So then as you go up, it'll lock. It'll keep locking. Well, that's it for this one. Uh, thanks again for watching. Got another part of that project done and uh, we'll move on to the ramps next time on it so we can get it flipped over and uh, get it tested out. So thanks again for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Uh -huh.